hi everyone welcome to coding simplified and in this video we'll see about nullable value type uses in C sharp so in this video first of all we'll see that what is the use of this uh, variables like you might have seen multiple times this int question mark character question mark or double or boolean so in general we have the variables like int care but if you see this so uh, how it is different from normal uh, data variables so we'll see this what's the use when we should use these variables how we can declare these how we can assign these then how we can check whether the values exist or not and then how we can convert from uh, this type of nullable variables to the actual uh, int variable so we'll see all this in this video so let's start with like what's the use of these variables like what is this nullable value type so from the name itself you can see these are the nullable value type it means in general like let's say we have the one value type let's say int a equal to 5 so that is like normal integer variable but here we have nullable so it means it says that this value either can have the value actual value or it can contains the null value as well and what's the use of this so let's take an example let's say we have a database and in the database we have let's say IDs right and let's say we have the roll number or like let's say we have the because right now we're talking about the int variable so let's say we have when one int column int variables now because it's a database so it could happen that this contains a value or it may also happen that uh, this value doesn't exist or this value is null for that specific entry right that's quite possible so to handle these kind of cases that a integer can have the value and integer can be null right so like database is one example similarly we can have other examples like let's say you are uh, like let's say you have an object and in that object we have some int uh, we have some int variable now because it's objects so it could quite possible that that int value is null for currently right so to handle those values we have this kind of variables and we call them as nullable data value type so this this dbid is like currently i'm taking example of dbid because this dbid can be uh, null or it can contains a value right so it basically it will cover the both the things so like let's say even rather than 5 i can uh, assign the null value as well so that is also perfectly fine right now but if you say if you have int i equals to null you can't have this value right so here you see the problem like let's say if you are getting the data from the db and your uh, in your db id is null so in this case you can't assign the value here right because in this case that integer was supposed to have the value this db id was supposed to have the value but it's not it's null for that particular entity so to handle that we have assigned uh, we have this nullable value type so wherever you see wherever you see that there is quite possibility that this value may be a null as well so in this case you should you should use this uh, with this question mark which we call as nullable value type but if you are sure that the value will never be null then in this case uh, use the simple integer right so here i have taken the example of int but uh, it can be any normal data type let's say you can have the boolean as well so we can say bool and let's say uh, if uh, let's say if C sharp let's say if we take an example or let's say uh, if mobile let's say if we take an example and we can assign as null as well right so it can uh, basically an integer double short boolean we can uh, play with anything right so <clears throat> that was the one thing that why it is used where we should use this this was the first important point to understand now the second point is how we can assign these values right and how we can declare so you could see like here uh, we can simply assign uh, or declare it like we assign uh, the normal int type it's just that we should have this question mark and bit refers that it is nullable data type right so currently it can contain the 5 it can contain the null as well right so it means this is simple this is a simple uh, declaration and assignment we can use this nullable data type similarly like let's say uh, if you have like we can't have this so let me remove that similarly for the bool as well we can say uh, is mobile and then similarly here also I can have the null as well so that is quite possible and don't don't confuse about this this is just a green line it says that we haven't used this value so that is why it is giving this uh, green one otherwise it will also be okay right so now uh, that is how we basically assign and declare uh, the nullable value type now the next point we should see that 
uh, how we can check that whether it contains a value so you see like now we know that this dbid can be a null or it can contains a value right so like let's again take the example of this so earlier we discussed that let's say this dbid can contain the value as 5 or it can contain the value as null both the points are uh, quite possible right now how to check let's say if it contains the value as 5 but and we want to make sure that hey if this contains the value then we want to do something let's say if the db id contains the actual value then we want to uh, fetch something more on that value but if it contains null then we don't want this right so how we'll check that whether it contains a value so for that we have three things to check the first thing that will come to your mind instantly that we can simply check via null right that if it contains a null then it is null if it doesn't contain a null then it means we have some value so let's say we can check if dbid uh, is not null if dbid is not null then it means it contains a value right so we can say uh, console dot write ln uh, or write line and then we can just print the dbid value right so th this is the one thing we can do now let's say uh, if you run this one so what it will do it will basically check here that if dbid is not null so in this case it will basically print the values uh, in the console otherwise it will not print the value in the console right so uh, let it just run and then you will see yeah so you can see that it it's, uh, it's contains a non-null value so that is why it is returning the 5 it is printing the 5 now let's say uh, if it is null so in this case if it is null let me even put a debug point here so that you could also check so if it is null in this case it will not print the value because it's a null so it will come here it will say that hey it is not it is null value so i will not go here and it will directly move to the next one right so in this case it will not uh, print anything in the console so uh, this is how basically we can check this is the first thing we can check whether this contains a value or not the, now comes the second check the second thing we can check is uh, that whether this dbid is a type of int so let's say we have this is operator so we can say is and then int uh, so if it is int then assign the value like if it contains a value and if it is int so assign the value in uh, let's say val right so and now we can print the value as val so what it does like let's say if it contains the valid value if it contains a valid value then in this case uh, it will basically if it is an int and if it contains the value then it will basically come it will assign the value as well and then we can check that whether it contains the uh, value it will print here so let's say if we uh, execute this function so ideally it should uh, print the value 5 here because it contains the valid value but let's say uh, if it contains the null now what will happen that if it contains a null then it will not go here like let me put a debug point here and let let me show you so it will come here a debug point and then if i move further you see that it is not going here because it says that uh, if earlier because it was the value 5 so it means it it was is int internally it was is int right but here currently it is null so it means this is not int so <clears throat> this is another uh, way of checking that whether it contains the value or not now we have the another method as well and this another method is we can check via if dbid dot has value so has value means that if it has the value then only it will go into the uh, then only it will basically print the value here otherwise it will not go like currently you see that this con this doesn't contains the value so in this case uh, if I run this one so let me show you so it will co come here now if I go forward it will not go inside this because this doesn't contain the value right but let's say uh, if it contains some value so let's say 5 and if you go next uh, it will come here it will hit a debug point now let's see it is going inside because it contains the value and now we can basically it will basically print the values in the console right 
so we have seen three values to check that how we can detect that whether it contains the value and depending on that we, we can take the action like right now i'm just printing but based on this you can take the action that whether uh, let's say if i want to proceed with the dbid further so you can make the action so it means three values uh, three options were there to check has value second thing via null check and third thing via is int operator right so this also we have covered now let's see that how we can basically convert from nullable type to underlined uh, type so let's say currently this is int but i want to convert it to normal int let's say i have here this int uh, well and uh, uh, i want to check that if it contains a value then assign me this value right so how we can check we have this uh, some of the uh, checks to do like we can say if dbid contains a value then do uh, if it contains a value then assign the value otherwise assign let's say minus one this operator basically checks that this operator and i have again created one video that how to make the uh, like what's the value of this so what it checks that if this is not a null if this is not a null value then it will assign the value in the well otherwise it will assign the value of well equal to minus one right so let me again print the here console dot write line and then well so what will happen like currently this db id uh, this db id is five it means this is not null so the value the well uh, will assign to the five because it's not a null right so let's say if i run this one uh you could see that it is five right but let's say if it is null if it is null then what it will do it will assign the minus one because in this case dbid is null so it will assign the minus one so you see that why it is important to check this one because this value must have the integer value it can't contain the null so that is why we are saying that if the dbid is null then assign if dbid is null then assign the minus one if dbid is not null then assign the whatever the value this dbid contains right so let's say if i run this one so it should ideally return the it should print the minus one you could see that it is printing the minus one right so that is how we can basically convert in the underlying value similarly let's say if it was a boolean so we can also check that uh, if it is boolean then make it the value as true otherwise make it as false so i hope you have liked the video and uh, in case you have any questions please write in the comment section i will try to explain that and in case you have liked the video please like the video and please subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you